Welcome back. Thank you, Melanie, for staying. Sorry about the time. I, I'm, I'm just, I don't want to lose you today. <laughs> so I'm glad you could stay. But um, so I know this is a silly off-topic question, but does your dad, does your dad worry about you? I'm sure he does, but he's learned not to share that with me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. he could talk he, to Kim's dad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, and I think what changed it was several years ago. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it was seven, eight years ago. I, he said something to me like, um, well, you know, your brother is married and his two stepsons are married. You know, of all yeah. the four kids, you're my stepmom. And he thought I would be, I wouldn't be the last one to be single, to remain single. And all I could respond to was, Daddy, any idiot can get married. Oh, but you're <laughs> and it so really right. Doesn't take, like, I, I could have gotten married. And then the other thing I said to him was, you know, Dad, nobody wants me married more than me. Yeah. And so this doesn't help. And trust me, I don't want to be alone. And I, and I know it pains you. Yeah. That you worry that I'll be alone. But I'm not alone. I have friends. I have my, my brother and his family and others. And I'm not alone. Um, and I'm not lonely inside a marriage that I, I can't get out of. And yeah. so um, those things change, change things for him. I think he, he began to trust Trust me. Um, but really, often enough, it's, it's their own pain that they're totally. articulating. Yeah, my dad, I've, I've asked him to stop because my, dad, my dad's famous thing is, well, you deserve, you deserve to be in love. Mm. I'm like, you oh, deserve to God. be in a marriage with someone who's wrong for you. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I, and my kid every once in a while will say to me, I'm not working hard enough at trying to find a, a husband. Mm. Um, I, and he's kidding. But I, I mean, it, it is really hard. And I, and, I, and I know we're different in the sense that, that you know, like I do have a, a son, but it's it's really hard just to be single in general. Um, especially, sure. I mean, uh, Melanie, you and I are, you and I are within uh, I think a year of our ages, um, and it's it is hard. I get those looks from people, and I get the oh oh you poor thing, and then I start to feel that a little bit, and I hate always being the third wheel. And Jackie mm-hmm. knows this that you know all my friends are married, and every time there's something coupley, I'm the only one that doesn't have anybody, and it does get a little hard and it's hard to be positive and upbeat all the time and and like you said it's not I'm it's not that a lack of trying it's just it's it's a quality life that I want at this age in my life I'm not willing to just settle because I I, I do have expectations for who I want in my life and who I want around my child um but it's 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 hard I mean this is and, you it's know you said before infuriating yeah it's infuriating yeah because it's it it's it's infuriating that it hasn't happened. And yeah, I mean, look, and as we get older, right, and we see older couples and we know, like, who, I, I better be really madly in love with this man right. if I'm going to have to take care of him, you know, in old age, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Like, if I'm going to have to feed somebody their oatmeal, I want to, like, know that I love this guy. Yeah, right. Um, it's, it's just that as we think of life in a different perspective, being in our 40s, um, yeah. it brings on different things that we look at. And you having a son. And by the way, you never have to qualify what, you know, who's, who, who has you know, more right to be a sad or what. Yes, right. it's true. I didn't get love nor the child. And you, you got a child, but now you don't have the love. And we, you know, we, it, it, there are two different, those are two right. very different kinds of love. And, um, there's no reason to qualify. You 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 are very um, you know well said to say that it it's not it's not the life that you expected, but yeah, that also you're not going to settle for the wrong guy because gosh, it's misery. It's misery to have lunch with somebody you're not into. Right, right. Imagine a whole life. Right. Can I ask you? You know, as as the person you know, the married one here, what can I do? What can other married friends do? You know. Because sometimes you, you you feel your friend's pain, you feel your friend's frustration, or you know when they're furious or infuriated, or but so how can we support? Like sometimes I'm like, oh please, half the people here don't want to be with their spouses. Like I'll make a joke right. about it, or I'll you know like how can we support but not make another person feel like you're, they're pitied? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, th- by just listening and let, letting them talk about what they need to talk about. And not not clouding it with judgment, not clouding it with, well, if I were her, this is what I would have done, and then right. articulating that out loud. Right. Um, it's just listening. And also, um, sometimes married people, because there are two of them, have access to single people that they know, or to somebody who, um, you know, at work, or somebody who's, who's 
just divorced or what have you. I mean, you know, see if there's a way to set up a friend. Be thoughtful of it. Because sometimes people say, oh, you know, you should do this, you should do that. Well, do you have anybody to set me up with? No, come to think of it. I don't know any right. single men. Then why do you think I do right. that I'm not dating them? <laughs> so um, just, just again, just let them talk about what they need to talk about um, and and understand that, you know, it's um, – it's not an easy subject for them to talk about, and sometimes they don't even, they've stopped talking about it because um, their married friends um, don't, um, don't listen well, and they judge, and they give obvious advice, like go online, as if we didn't know that there was right. a match.com. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, Melanie, so you, you started Aunt, Auntie's Day, Auntie's Day, right? <laughs> yeah. So um, t- I know it's this Sunday, July 26th. Yeah. Yes. So t- tell, us, tell us what that is and what we can do to support that. Oh, thank you so much. So the seventh annual Auntie's Day is Sunday, July 26th, and it's every fourth Sunday in July, and it's the day to honor and celebrate the aunt in your child's life and or in your life. Um, or godmother, and remember, it's not just the aunt by relation. It can be, also be the aunt by choice, the great aunt. It's it's that neighbor next door who always um, gives a little treat to your child as, as they walk by. It's um, it's the, the the teacher who puts in extra time, even though the child is, has many years left that classroom. Mm-hmm. It's a woman in a child's life who who loves and adores them um, without being their parent. So like Mother's Day, it's it's a day just to remember that woman and to acknowledge her. Um, whether it's just a text message or call, Skype, take her out for brunch, take her to the spa, whatever it is, just celebrate and honor her. Um, and I, I promise you, just that acknowledgement alone um, will be very um, well received. I say that aunthood is a gift. It's a gift for the child, both figuratively and, of course, literally speaking, we're good, we're good with those gifts. It's a hmm. gift to the parents. I'm giving that support as mm-hmm. the parents need it, um, being that extra hand in the in the in the family village, but also it's a gift for the aunt, um, for all that um, the meaning and joy and love and legacy that aunthood gives her. And I say that you know aunthood is a gift. This day is hers. So just it. acknowledge her, love her, and um, and I'm sure it'll be appreciated. And they can follow you at Sa- Savvy Auntie on Twitter. Twitter. And Correct. Facebook, and um, we have to go to break. But Otherhood, Modern Women Finding a New Kind of Happiness, uh, also your book, Savvy Auntie, both can be found on Amazon and on your website, correct? Absolutely. Go to SavvyAuntie.com. Also for e-cards and posters to share news about Auntie's Day. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Happy Thank Auntie's, you so much, Melanie. Happy Nocking. Auntie's Day. Happy, happy Auntie's, Auntie's Day. Day to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. And we will be right back with that Target controversy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, my trophy wife. Right? Look at, we are on Periscope right now, too, right? Did you start? <laughs> Did you start on Periscope? I forgot my mic. I can't do Periscope and a mic at the same time. Take away your trophy. So, as you know, Target, yeah. this shirt can be found at Target, and t- I'm not getting paid for this or anything. I just like controversy. So, <laughs> this week, they um, people were just writing about it and how it was, they have a whole line. It says Mrs. and then... T- uh, Team Bride, and it's just kind of a whole, you know, it's June, it's right, well, it's July, it's July but whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's wedding season, it's always wedding season, but people were upset that this was saying like trophy wife, and you know, it was anti um, feminist and blah, 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 yeah. blah, which is a whole other, we could do a whole show on that. Right. Okay. So, and so yeah. I think I am a trophy. You are a trophy. I mean, we are so busy knocking women down online and social media. We should all be wearing this right. to me. Like, it has nothing to do with being a wife. I happen to be a wife. And you know what? I'm, I'm a wife to somebody who thinks I'm a trophy. Well, but and I think he's a trophy. In all fairness, though, the term trophy wife isn't all that positive. And I think that's where, in, in the beginning, like, I could care less about that phrase. But I think the point is, is you that... You couldn't care less? I couldn't. I, uh, that uh, the the whole concept of trophy wife is that you you're nothing more than just something visual. Thanks. <laughs> I'm 44 and overweight, and I have three kids. Thank you for calling me a trophy wife. Yeah, but I just I think know, I, I think I'm back like... back not back in the day, but when that phrase was initiated, I think that was what it had a derogatory. That was term. like the second wife and the one that they went yeah, for. Yeah, I, I just I'm, I'm but over so, all but the broad was also a, a negative term. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Are we going to be victims of terms, or are we going to own them and flip them 
And that's right. exactly what we're doing with broadcast. Why would we not do that with Trophy Wife? Right. I am. And yeah. so we actually have Trophy, trophy whether t-shirts. you're a wife or not, yeah. T-shirts to give away. Right. Um, if you go to our website and uh, enter your name and email address to sign up for our newsletter, you are automatically entered. And we're going to do that through uh, August 5th. August 5th? August 5th. All right, so people need to hurry up. So they can find us at broadscast.com, right? Broadscast.com. B-R-O-A-D-S-C-A-S-T.com. Or on Facebook. Um, Or on Facebook, it it tells you to uh, join our newsletter. I like that you drove all over to get the trophy shirts. I seriously, I was online. They were all out. That's the thing, too, is that people are so offended, but yet... You know, Target didn't have any in stock. Well, I just, I, I think f- for me, the bigger... Especially in the burbs where we live. <laughs> I think I think the bigger issue is the fact that people just are always looking for something to complain about. Like I'm kind of, I mean, I'm surprised people have not gone after Target for their name because Target actually could mean like, I'm going to yes, aim at you. Right? I mean, I just, I, if people want to go after a phrase, please go uh, after the, uh, the wife beater phrase for tank oh, yeah. tops. That drives me bananas. But I just like... Let it go. I, I'm just. Thing. I'm too old for all this. I can't keep up with all the complaining. People, they they are finding their way onto their blogs to just complain about everything. I mean, it's just something per target. I mean, in some ways, I just oh, target like, should be thrilled because it's not enough. It's like enough to to bring it to light, but not enough. It's everybody's on their soapbox, you know. And I've I've been guilty of being on my soapbox, but when it comes to especially women's issues. Um, I think even you take like uh, unfair pay. If somebody's working at the grocery store and they're a cashier and the man next to them is making 30 cents more, you know, an hour or, uh, you know, 30 cents on the dollar more, then I think we should fight for that. You know, but if you're somebody who makes sure, like we're, I'm in a field where you make your own opportunities. I'm not going to get 70 cents on the dollar because I'm not going to put up with it. Right. You know, and so I think we need to empower each other not to be victims of, like I said, there are certain times we need to stand up and defend, right. but let's stop being victims of every word and everything. And, and well, like, and don't speak on my behalf because I'm not offended by the shirt. I'm not offended by half the things that people are totally offended by on behalf of all women or behalf of a population. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just, offended by racism. I'm offended by people who hurt those with special needs or, you know, I, I'm offended by, you, you know, discrimination I'm not offended because you used a word to describe me that I can de- determine what it means. Right. We're too strong well, for that. Yeah. we got to go to break. All right. Well, we got to go to break until next week, actually. Yeah. We're all done, oh sister. Oh, my God. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, have bye. A break. Yeah. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs> KHTS, Canyon Country, Santa Clarita. It's 11 o'clock. Time for KHTS National News, powered by CNN. <laughs> The crowd at a Louisiana movie theater last night was a drifter from Alabama. And when police searched his place... We found uh, wigs and glasses and disguises basically in his room. The tags on his car had...